Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making some of these uh, security envelopes booklets. I only have a couple, I've got these two left and I need to make some more. Uh, it's only a little notebook just to pop into journals. Um, so yes, so what I'm going to do is go through a list of stuff with you of what I will be using. Um, so that gets that out of the way. Alrighty, so um, 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 let me think, let me think, let me think. I will be using this. It's a matte deco, deco glue. Um, I'd buy this from our $2 shop for $2.50. Um, you could possibly use any glue you want. Uh, I just like this one with napkins. Um, matte medium, you can use Mod Podge, which I will be using as well. I will be using this to cover my napkins with just a light um, coat. I'll be sticking them down with this though, because I don't want too much Mod Podge on there. Otherwise it, it stays tacky for so long. So I'll be sticking my napkins down with this. And I will be covering just a light coat with this. I will be using a glue stick, just a regular old glue stick, nothing special. I will probably use some tacky glue and some um, fabric glue as well. Who knows? So, oh, and most important thing, envelopes. I will be using envelopes and some napkins. So here's my little napkin container here, my little box. Um, so yes, yeah, so the first thing I've done is cover up the logo on uh, the envelopes. You don't have to. Uh, I just don't want them showing through the napkin, you know, like in your face. So I've just toned them down. I've toned these ones down with some gesso. Uh, this one I've just stuck a bit of uh, paper across. So I'll put that one aside. I'll just do these two on camera today. Um, just makes life a lot easier so we're not sitting here forever and I don't want you getting bored. So there's that. So I've done this one. I just need to fill it with some signatures or I... I think there's three pages, so six six pages all up. Um, I've done this one ready to go, this one ready to go, and this one ready to go. So this one has a, a pocket on the top, and this one has a little pocket thing on the side. These ones don't have any. Oh, this one does. This one has fabric inside though, so it has fabric and a bit of lace inside the window. Um, and these have fabric. So what I will be doing today is a, a side pocket and a top pocket. Just in case, you know, you want to have a go at that. So let's do that. Let's get started, guys. Let's get started. So first things first. Uh, before I fast forward, I just want to slit down the sides and open this right up. Um, it just makes life a lot easier when I stick stuff inside here. So, and when I say open right up, I just mean like this. So basically, like that. I cleaned up my desk the other day and I cannot find my um, letter opener, which I use for just about everything. I can't find that anywhere. I don't know where it is. Um, so there we go. So to make this one here with the top pocket, we need that this way. So what I'm going to do is... Is 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 um, um um this way. So we fold this down this way. So you've got your envelope. You open it up, and we just turn it and fold. Okay. 
So there we go. There's our this way. And this one we just keep as is. So basically like that. And we fold. And I'll do it upside down. So there's that one. So what I will do now is cover this in napkin. Uh, you don't have to use napkin. If you don't have napkins, you can use a collage of all different papers. So you can stick a whole heap of collage around your um, your envelopes and pretty it all up and just do what you've got to do with, with scraps of paper. Works just as well. Uh, I just have heaps of napkins because I'm a napkinaholic. I go to $2 shops and I... They just call out to me and they go by me, by me, by me. So I kind of look and if I find any I like, I buy them. Um, I can't help myself. So anyway, guys, I will fast forward this. It's pretty self-explanatory. If I have anything um, important to say, I will pop back on um, and have a chat. If not, just enjoy. Just another quick tip. Um, when you're using napkins, it's a good, a good idea. Please use words today. Um, it's a good idea to use a paintbrush with a very soft bristle. Uh, that way um, it takes um, less rippage of your napkin, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Um, this one here. It's a soft bristle. Uh, you'll, you'll be able to tell the difference. So we've got a soft bristle there. Where, do, where are all my hard bristles? I think they're all over on the kitchen sink. Um, okay, let me go and see if I can find a hard bristle. All right. So these sorts are what I call hard bristles. They're very... Now oh, this is full of PVA. But they're, they're like horsehair. They're very... Um, very coarse brushes. What we need for napkins are very fluffy, fluffy, soft napkins. Just a little tip, just a tip. Okay, so let's get started on this. So like I said, I will fast forward. Um, it's very self-explanatory. I will be using my matte deco glue to stick this down. As you can see at this stage, it's a, a battle between me and the fan and a napkin. Um, it's so hot here at the moment, my air conditioner is not working, so I have to rely on a pedestal fan, which keeps blowing 
the napkin around but hey it's all fun <laughs> okay so now I'm going to use a water brush to just break the fibers of the napkin it just helps pull it apart a little bit easier Now it's the Mod Podge's turn to shine. So I'll just uh, give this a very light coat, very lightly, on top of this napkin so it doesn't rip. And it just helps seal in the napkin fibres. Because it's the outside of the booklet, it's going to be handled a, you know, a fair bit, I would say. So the Mod Podge just, um, just seals the fibres of the napkin in. So here we are, nice and dry, ready for the next stage. So I will choose some painty papers or drop sheets or something to go inside these envelopes as well as some book pages with the, you know how you get pages with the blank bits on the bottom. Um, I'll use those. Sometimes there will be some words on there which I'll cover up with scraps of paper as you will see. Um, so I hope you're enjoying this video guys. I'll be quiet and I'll let you watch.
You can put the book page across the whole entire envelope. I just choose not to. Um, I just keep a little gap because I will grab a scrap of uh, book page. I will cover it in some napkin and I will use that to reinforce the little spine because that's where the signatures will be sewn in and that's where the pressure point will be basically where the pages go. So um, I just like the look of a little bit of contrast with the different napkins down the middle. I will now cut a slit in the front of the envelope uh, where the tag goes and where I've cut the slit I'll reinforce with a little bit of tape. You can use book page, you can use a bit of scrapbook paper, you can use anything you like. I just find reinforcing the flimsy paper just helps where the tag goes in and out. It just gives it a bit of stability you may as well say. So once I've done that, I'll then glue the envelope sh shut, um, avoiding obviously the window area so we can still get the tag in and out. Then I'll take, once the glue is dry, I'll take it to the sewing machine. You don't have to sew. Sewing is a personal preference. I like the look of the sewing personally, so I choose to sew just about everything I make. Um, so yeah, now I'm rambling again and I will let you continue to watch. Because I have sewn around the middle section of the book page that goes up the middle um, where the spine is, because I've sewn there, I will use um, the equivalent to Fabri-Tac Boils glue that I get from our local hardware shop, Bunnings Warehouse, here in Australia. So I will use that to make sure that that piece stays put 
and doesn't move. Hey guys, I'm back. I have sewn these three uh, straight down the middle with my sewing machine. So they're done. So what I'm going to do now is I was going to sew these as well, but silly me, when I put my little pictures inside, I didn't carry it around the back. See how you can still see the... Um, security envelope <laughs> inside so what I decided to do is to pamphlet stitch them in and I want to put some lace down the side or a fabric or, or something so I've got a little ba bag I've got a little box here with bits and pieces of lace and stuff in here so let me have a look and see what I can use. All right. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's going to be perfect. It's going to be just enough to, to cover that. So I might use that. Two more pieces. Let's have a look. This is from an old shirt that I found in a uh, opportunity shop slash secondhand shop. Isn't it pretty? No, let's have a look. What have I got? What have I got? That's way too wide. Ah, there's another piece of that. Maybe I could use another one of those. Do I have a third one? Oh yeah. I might just do that. And what's this piece? That's pretty too. You can see through 
there. No, I might stick with these three pieces of um, this stretchy. Oh, there's another one. This stretchy stuff here. So, um, yeah, why not? Let's use that up. Sounds like a plan. Says me who still keeps digging through the box of bits and bobs. All right, yes. All right, so let's use that. So let me put that out of the way because I'll put all these little scraps in there maybe. Oh, okay. I'll have a go that way. Okay, there we go. So what I will do is stick that down, right? So as long as I cover up that bit, we're fine. All right, uh, fabric glue. So I will be using boils. Uh, this one here, I get this from Bunnings Warehouse in Australia. So now I will put in these little signatures into these notebooks. Uh, I'll be using a three hole pamphlet stitch and that's about it.
So there we have it, guys. We have six little booklets that we've made. Um, some napkins, some security envelopes, some drop sheets, um, painting papers, a bit of lace, and these three are sewn down the middle with the sewing machine. These three have got a uh, three hole pamphlet stitch. I think they turned out rather cute. Just have to find some tags with these, uh, for these. I might make um, some tags tomorrow um, for the next video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Um, it's been fun, it's been good to hang out. Um, so I hope you enjoy. So until the next video, take care. And I will catch us all later. Bye for now.